Welcome and hello. I'm Faden32. I'm a cosmic gorilla. And today, I'm gonna make some progress on Scarlet right here. Gotta get some badges and let's get some playing going. So I can get an annihilate. But let's go ahead and see what is needed next. Let's see. What is this guy? Ah, oh, that's the star badge thing. No. Let's go ahead and normal trainer. Um let's do this one. <laughs> There's a slow bug outbreak. Alright. Now to make sure that I have teams to be able to do this with. Of course, gotta keep it the original. Um, let's see. I don't remember what my original team was. Scyther for Pulse Swipe. It wasn't a very good Scyther, though. I got another little quaxly. <laughs> oh gosh, this Tinkaton didn't even have a good nature. And I was training it. <laughs> that was one of my originals. You know what? I do have some of the original Pokemon here. Oh yeah. I just want to speed down, not defense down. Either way. Mm -hmm. 
they want to know what Shootle is. Oh, it's a physical attacker. I got a little foy coco. Let's go with this one. There we go. I got all three starters. I want to see what LeChonk looks like when it grows. Let's go ahead and throw that bad boy in there. Its speed is up, its defense is down. Do I have another LeChonk? Maybe one that might be a little bit better. This one's an okay LeChonk. And then next time we'll probably be the room. Alright. Let's do this. Ba 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 ba. Actually, because of this is the streamer thing. Yeah. Hello, hello, pig. How goes your treasure hunt? Figured out what you're hunting for yet? Sure have. Great, look at you, knowing exactly what you're after. Masons choose to make a gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. It's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I was waiting here, to make sure you know your homeroom teacher's got your back. Tain's a lucky egg. Cool. Oh, extra XP, I don't need that. <laughs> I hope you'll keep working on the Pokedex of yours too, since I did make that and all. That's all for me. Just do your best and keep out of danger, okay? Little oh. splody boy. Oh my god, this guy has pockets. All these different Pokemon on his face, on his vest. Are those even Pokemon that it can get all in here? Hmm. Can you get Rhyhorn? Interesting. Anyway. Zap zap. Zap those! Hello, language teacher. Or, is it language teacher? Welcome to Levitia Gym. Let me register you as, you as a challenger. Your name is Phaeton, yes? Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Iono, first, you'll need to pass the gym test. Head to Levitia Gym. That means starring in one of Iono's streams. Iono's a streamer as well as a gym leader. So, you want to dazzle your audience with your skills and rack up those subscribe subscriptions? Just head outside and you'll soon find out what you need to do. Now, get out of here and have fun.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Iona Zone. Oh god. Is it a Magnemiter head? Hey, hey, hey! Your eyeballs are mine! Cut my electro web, what's it? <coughs> Excuse me. Who's a what's it? I know, I'm the gym! I'm the gym leader here. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, bonjour. Um, sure. I'll play along. Oh snap, look at you already a master of Ionaese. Not your first rodeo then, eh? Why are you shaking? And, uh, I hope this doesn't come as too much of a surprise. But <laughs> you're being broadcast live to the... To the to the world right now. Smile. Anywho, Challenger, thanks for coming out to LaVincia Gym to see me. I'm super happy you're here, but I'm also a bit of a celeb, you know. I'm all kinds of busy. So, I can't collab with you unless I know you can bring in those sweet, sweet viewer number. I, uh, I mean, I gotta make sure to bring in some real passion to my stream. <laughs> And so, if you want to battle me, you're going to have to help me make this live stream a viral hit. Got it? I can tell you, you just can't wait to get started. Well, well, well then. Allow me to explain the plan. Coming out, Mr. Walksabout. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Why is the Dean here? <laughs> oh, Fane, what a coincidence meeting you here. Say so what? Do you guys know each other or something? This here dude has a real aura about him when he was walking down the street, so I snatched him. He was walking down the... No, oh, up from my dealio here. You are, uh, too kind. <laughs> well, anywho, Fane. Since you're today's challenger, I'm gonna have you play hide and seek with Mr. Walks about here. Look for the good gentleman using the street surveillance cameras. Find him three times, and you can consider this gym test passed. We need a better name for this challenge, though. I'll call it. Where in Lavincia is Mr. Walks about? You think that tile's safe? There's nothing iffy about it or anything, right? <laughs> eh, what ifs? I. Oh no about you, but I'm ready to go. Get ready to hide, Mr. Walks about. I feel that I owe the Pokemon League for many a past favor, so I'm more than happy to help. And do bear with me as I try my best to, to allocate the role. Oh, Jesus. Just fucking sprint. May I part our gentleman is ready? Hey, Mr. Walks about, you good to go? Yes, I am. <laughs> Ready he be. Mr. Walksabout is hiding somewhere in this video feed, friendo. Open those eyes wide like a magnemite and get to searching. I've already found him. <laughs> Why are the frames dropping on the magnezone in the back? I can see in the top middle. There's a magnezone that's just frame dropped. There's a couple of Pokemon people on the left side that don't even have frames. Interesting. May I not? Here our challenger comes. I mean, I don't even need to. There you are. Oh dear! It seems you found me. Our challenger has found Mr. Walks about. Wow, so you did it. You're one cool kid. Well then, before we move on to the next round, let's make things a little bit more interesting. You get to have a battle with one of my fans. So get out of here, you silly Pokemaniac. Oh, really? The Iono Hype Squad is here. Long live the Iono Zone. Okay, Marty, let's do this.
Win or lose, I know Hype Squad forever. Sure. And you win. Well done, Challenger Friendo. Time for the change of scenery. Here we go. The next stage of my totally rad test. Everybody loves it. It's the Pokemon Center. Speaking of which, he's in the Pokemon Center where the Nurse Joy is normally sitting. <laughs> Mr. Walksabout is once again hiding in the feet somewhere. Panic! Ah! Find him quick! I don't even need to. He's right there. <laughs> oh, and here I thought that had blended into my surroundings quite well. Mr. Walkabout's been found once again. Yes, I knew you were something special. Let's spice things up again before moving on to the next old round. That's right, it's another battle. Get out of here, Pokemaniac Spell. Miss Iota's watching, I can't lose. Michael? <laughs> okay. Coco shit the bite. <laughs> A flaffy. Sure, I'll switch Pokemon. Awesome, bro. How you doing tonight? Let's go ahead and rage fist. <laughs> well, thank you, Sumbro. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, if you need to get some sleep, go ahead. I'm just going ahead and running through the gyms. <laughs> well, you know what? I haven't lost to you in... Uh, in my devotion to Miss Iono. I don't know why I had such a hard time reading that. And you win! Well done, Challenger Friendo! There's no stopping yet, Master of Seeking and Master of Battling, you're the real deal! Alrighty then, time for a change of scenery! <laughs> well, thank you, Sumbro. You get some good rest and hope you, well, have some good dreams. Now let's see. Oh yeah. The last stage will be this place right here. The battle court where battles are raging. Can you find our Mr. Walkabout among these randos? Let's find out. Ready? Go! He's on the boat. <laughs> it's over here. My, my. I'm really done. I hope you'll find your treasure in the independent studies with just as much ease. I mean, you weren't even on Where's Waldo. <laughs> Woo! My subscriber numbers are on the rise, like a super fast electrotross crawling out of the ocean. Uh, I mean, congratulations on passing my gym test. Hot diggity dang. What a good time, huh? You had people on the edge of their seats worldwide. I bet I could have had some super red streams by collabing with you, Faden. So hey, when you're ready, just hit up my lobby staff, and they'll get you all set up with the collab with me. Look at you split. I'll be ready to uh, to go when it's. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> okay. Let's 
Sion who gave your performance the thumbs up. Amazing job, Hayden. Well done, clean the gym test. You now earn the right to challenge gym leader. Best of luck. Yeah. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Your eyeballs are mine. Cut my electro web. Who's a what's it? I don't know. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, bonjour. God, the chomping teeth. It's time for the Ido Zone, everybody. Today's challenger is flying high like a watch roll. It's Phaeton! Yay! <laughs> Why do I look surprised? How you feeling about this battle, Phaeton? Um, look, I can't lose. Hey, hey! We got a live one here! You make a gnarly influencer, friendo. Alrighty then. Who's ready to see me kick some butt? Looks like you're all getting hyped. Uh, thank you. Much kindly, Electro King. Let's get this show on the road. How strong is our challenger? I don't know. Let's find out together. You were challenged by Jim Lee? I don't know. I like how they cut frames on the audience. <laughs> Give me a battle that'll electrify all my viewer pals. Um, ma'am, it's gonna be over quick. Here, let me use a water move on your bird. Jim Lee, you know about to send Bella Bolt. Nah. wanted that thing. I got one earlier. Anyway. Let's go ahead and uh, do another Aqua Step. It's just better ember. Has less, but that's fine. That's a good special attack. Okay. Sure, LeChonk. About to send out Miss Magus. Let's do this. <laughs> oh no, this isn't good, little fans. I need to hear you cheering. Give me all you got. Oh, 
Come forth, shiny little light bulb. I'm not done yet, Iono Power. Go! Flatter. Flatter is used to confuse the target, however, it's also boosts the target special attack set. So I confuse him by giving him special attack. <laughs> that switcheroo sounds funny. <clears throat> Is it a special attacker? 22, no, it's a physical attacker. Hmm. Alright, let's just do that for now. I'm not building him later anyway. Yeah, it's flashy and spray as a 10 million volt thunderbolt friend though. What? Where you go? evolving? Yeah. came out victorious. Well done, Fate. <clears throat> I hate to say it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering me on, anywho, my loyal fans. Well then, what does our challenge get for beating me? The lean, I mean streaming queen? I'll tell you, Fate, you win. A gym badge. <clears throat> Screen cap this quick. <laughs> Oh man, I would have loved that they just kept that side swipe. <laughs> by the by Z's, the six gym badges Poke Pals of up to 50 level will be easier to catch. They'll listen to you when you ask them to do stuff too. As my thanks for such a sweet pick, I'm going to give you a TM. Volt switch. Okay. I think you found our electrifying battle to be shocking. Go smash that subscribe button. Your apples are mine. Cut my electro web. Who's a what's it? I don't know. The supercharged stream. We'll catch y'all later. Why did focus on our chest before it went away? Green once more, hey Faden. I was watching battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit even. Hardly they had you sent out a quick uh, quacko ball before you launched into your strategy. The unrelenting offensive, that flurry of attacks. What an efficient way to corner your opponent. And the, what awfully trained Pokemon, such a vibrant palette of moves. Honestly, I just overpowered them. <laughs> ah, I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let my emotions run amok like that. Um, in summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit, I'm eager for you to gather all the gym badges. Oh, that's my plan. As a member of the Elite Four, I wait the day you come to face me with great anticipation. Oh, but one thing. Don't let your studies fall by the wayside. Be sure to come to the Academy now and then. 
I finished all my classes. <clears throat> and there's no notification that there's more classes, so I'm gonna assume that I succeeded on that. Let's just save just in case. Find out what this is. It's Juggalug. Okay. Now that I got six patches, so I can now get certain ingredients that I've been get. But enough of that. Where's the next ship leader? That's a star. That's a star. That's a star. That's a gym tree a leader, that's a leader as well. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, sure. <clears throat> AKA the MC of Rip. I'm not gonna like this trainer, am I? Not that I really need to heal, but let's do it. No, the kids are playing with the loot. Icicle Pokemon. How you doing, little bud? Okay, he's eating. Oh, the little kid has hot chocolate. I do like the candle aesthetic. Actually. This looks like a ghost ship. <clears throat> yeah, Zar. You ready to witness? Yeah? Let's go. Hey, I heard the good news. Congrats on the gym badge number six. Not even a tenth of the trainers who take on the gyms get this far. Well, I'm not surprised that you made it. I just knew there was a reason you caught my eye. Um. You know what? Thanks. <laughs> oh, please. I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up before you take on the gym, huh? Uh, ladies, no. I'm gonna... no. <laughs> Come on, you know the drill by now. <clears throat> Nimona, please. <laughs> ta 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 cha There's our battle coat for today. Okay, right. Mm hmm. Always important to check what environment your Pokemon will be battling in. The battle can be these tiny effects on your Pokemon's balance and stuff, you know. Anyway, so I sort of just dragged you here, but a little pre-gym warming up should do you good. Now come on, Faden, let's have a fruitful battle. Bring it on, Nimona. Can't rock. 
Show me the battle skills that you got. Use six badges. Terror Raid Charizard is <laughs> what got me here. Let's just bulk up real quick. Oh, fuck you. No. That stung, but you're not the only one who can hit hard when it counts. Sure, Dig's a good move for a Lechonk. I do have reduced accuracy now, but I don't know. Hi, Dragon type. Two steps. damage for not being very effective. So that'd be a total of three steps with one accuracy down. Okay. Let's Rage Fist. Knew it. Learn slash. I'd rather have slash than flutter. No, I'm not gonna switch. That could be useful. But no. Trading attacks on the brink of winning or losing gives me chills. Let's see who gets the win. Here comes the fun part, time to make this tear or shine. Sorry, but no. Rage Fist. Damn it. Get ready, this move's gonna hit with the force of all my training. Let's do it. Oh, it's a move that increases the special attack, too. I 
actually don't know what a snarl does. We did it! Hello! Oh, thank you for the subscription, Triss. For 15 months. Jeez. This has been crazy, hasn't it? <laughs> Snarl yells at the opponent and brings her special attack down. <laughs> Let's take off tackle for that. But freaking 15 month subscription, thank you. I was new. <sighs> Why can't I talk tonight? I knew it was right to believe in you. Chunk is evolving. A chunk evolves into bacon. Wait. Why does it have eyeliner? What, at the pig? <laughs> what are you freaking out for? How are the terror rates going, by the way? That's an L for me, man. You got so good. I think that should be enough of a warm-up. You and your Pokemon should be all set now. Here. Take these as thanks for the battle. I changed three max potions? No well, thanks. There's just two gyms remaining. And then that's all be left to try out to be a champion. Give it your all. Now, let's get you back to the gym lobby. Did you? Lady. I need to heal if you didn't heal me. You healed me. Let me register a challenger. Your name is Faden, yes? Can I just... get in? What's the gym test? I have to be the opening act. I have to set up the stage, show some dead, fierce Pokemon battles, and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking to MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Now get there and have fun. game. What is wrong? <laughs> Why are you wearing long shorts in the snow <laughs> yo trainer you the one performing the opening act today my name's MC Sledge this is stage right here so here's the deal we got to have you do some double battles that's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side that'll let you sledge up double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited the venue will be so hot, it'll be melt the mud in there snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leaders to take the stage. That's how you pass the gym test, yo. Your opening X begins as soon as you get up on the stage. There'll be no backing down until you win three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. You good in the deets for opening act and our gym test? <laughs> ready to sledge them up. Yeah. Oh, actually, we have the Pokemon want to set up for this. Sweet. Just play it by ear. You'll do great. Head up on up to, onto the stage. <clears throat> Why are there graveyards? Graveyards in the audience. <clears throat> Is that supposed to symbolize that the audience is dead? 
What's up, Montnevera? Today's opening act will be a three back-to-back -back double battles. Five challenging here, Faith. And the first of their three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. <coughs> Youngster, oh, I love that Toro shirt. It's cute. The one and only Taz. Double battle set means one plus one, right? You can do math. Can you do math? You were challenged by Gym Trainer Taz. <coughs> Shove it in Graver. Well. <laughs> I don't need to waste anything. Just fight. <laughs> yeah, Slee Ash. Plus one is two, right? Right? Yes, good, it is. Two, there are eleven. <laughs> Alright, challenge two, please. Is that another kid? There's more people, at least. The audience cheering got a little louder. The Monte Nevada stage is has all the latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging. You got this. And our challenge to the next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lenny. Um. Oh, Scout Girl. Strong, strong compliments weak. The harmony of two Pokemon battle in unison. Your challenge, but okay. Which one's supposed to be the weak? One? Those are both strong Pokemon. Why are you in a fighting pose? Like you're gonna box me? Goodbye. Thanks for the warm-up. That wasn't Harmony, it was a cacophony. Why is your hair clipping your face? The station just turned purple and then it turned black to white. <laughs> the audience is getting really excited. Your opponent's act turned and cheering, and the stage lighted up to 11. What's the surprise for my new challenger? Who'd have thought they sledge it up this much? <laughs> Next is our last opponent, and it's none other than me, MC Sledge. Oh god. Being an MC isn't my only forte. I can battle too. I'll sledge you up real good in a couple battle. <clears throat> you better bring it on. Your hair's clipping into your arm. Critical hit. Well, I hope I defeated MC Sledge. 
It was you who slashed me! Why are you starting to sound like Goofy? There's still grab bars out there. The audience excitement has reached a fever pitch. Wow, awesome, that was a great battle. Oh, lucky, that was a rare sight. Thank you, Faden. Oh my god. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Give him a round of applause, everybody. I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto! We're ready to go to the main event. Come on, everybody, say it with me. This is what y'all been waiting for. Give it up for the MC of RIP! Rhyme! Here we go. I don't even know what voice to give her. What's all this noise I'm hearing? This crowd's so loud I could take the, uh, I could wake the dead. Let me tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Thanks for the killer opener, baby. Now I'll get this started for real. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us a minute for uh, some rap time. You feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff that you passed. Oh, she's gonna hold a concert after I made them all excited. Okay. Oh, it's not gonna let me go up there. I just wanted to see. Oh well. Guess I'm gonna beat him up. <laughs> Just let me challenge them, see rip rip. The MC of RIP, what the fuck? Yo, yo! Sounds like there might be a rap out going on over on the stage. Oh, there is. This is my time and it's my day. You're not gonna stand in my way. Listen up, Ram. Your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. Oh my god. Boom chicka boom. <laughs> this is terrible. Pro cashier, well I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes in on deep discount. Please you think you can step up to my game? Well you got rhyme right here there in my name. I'm a specter from which there is no protector the victory unto me you will render. <laughs> when the crowd sees you a mere pretender. I hate rap. <laughs> You want in my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start the reading. I'm done, you won. My rhymes totally whipped, but I'll be back maybe after my next shift. Oh my god. Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got? After my next shift? Seriously? Boss over jokes? Come on! That was over way too fast. It's getting boring right down the crowd if no one makes me fight to keep it. Hmm? Hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? I'm here for a gym battle. As if I even needed to ask. You were captivated by that show I put on, huh? I rap what's in my soul, baby. Leave words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me. You won't last one round. I'm like a sable eye. My mean will look will lock you down. Like that, you feel me? Sure. <laughs> well, let's get to it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. My music's not all the tops of the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. <clears throat> 
Unless you forget it. The name is Rhyme, and I'm known as the MC of RIP. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. Oh, she's double battle too, and she has a Mimi Q. We don't mess around in Montanavera. On my stage, we do double battle. Don't let it scare you. Please stop. <laughs> <coughs> Show us an awesome battle, Rhyme, and you too, stupid kid. Snap, a super effective move that's so tight. Ram, ram, ram. <clears throat> no accuracy purpose. Oh, that was because they got cheered on. It's fine. Honestly speaking, I can just kill them both right now. So let's just do that. Part of Bridge Fist, bitch. I use Slash. It's not it's just one lady, it's gonna be two. Guys. Whatever I'm smoking one went down. Kitten <laughs> buffs again. Actually, let's go with the Aqua Step. power is a real threat, but the pot is still going. I haven't lost yet. <laughs> nice, you totally nailed that Pokemon's weakness without a battling, uh, batting an eye. <laughs> oh, like that was your last Pokemon. Oh, I'm sorry, lady, you fucked. <laughs> <coughs> Kick back some relax and enjoy this last track. Turn it up for a grave rattling good time. On the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over there is your feeling. It.
Oh, poison fang's better because it does toxic bite instead of just normal bite. Poison bite. Okay. Give up the ghost, not really my style. I'll let you have this one, though, baby. So you're the little lemur. The color of the poison saliva depends on the what one eats. Drifi eye covers its fingers and the saliva draws patterns on trees in the forest. Uh oh. So the painted forest is actually just a bunch of poison? Who <laughs> wants to learn move doodle? Use capture the various sense of the target in the sketch. The sketch changes the abilities of the user and its ally Pokemon to that of the target. Sure. <laughs> Great battle, chilling and thrilling. You got a spirit, kid. You're in my gym badge, all right. And how about a VIP pass for my next show, too? Maybe later. Her going crazy in the background. <clears throat> With seven gym badges, it'll be easy to catch Pokemon up to level 55 and listen to what you have to say, too. I'm feeling so good, I think I'm also gonna let you have this Shadow Ball, huh? That was a good move. Too bad it's over. Make your way back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we'll rap battle. Who knows? I'm sure you've got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you. Later. I'm not interested in rap battle. <laughs> Who are you? Hey, hey, Rika here, at your service. These gyms really aren't giving you much trouble, are they? Rika, Rika. Huh? Alright. You two have not have you. This young man is fading. He's so good with Pokemon, even the Primera has taken an interest in him. Oh wow! Oh wow! But I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong too. Like, really strong. Which one of you is stronger? Who do you think? Uh, well, hmm. I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm more amazing. Uh, are you just adorable? I know it's hard to believe, but this tiny little one is indeed one of the Elite Four. Yes, I am. She has a key purse. I hope they could show you my Pokemon soon, mister. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League, it's where, um, Pinnacle, it's where the Pinnacle Pokemon battling happens. See you there. Hey, wait up. Now you keep up the good work. You heard the kid, she's waiting for you. Wait up, Poppy, don't leave your pal Rika behind. Alright, another gym down. Oh, there's new classes to take. Crap.
Well, it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and do some classes. Alright. This will be the last of the classes I take in this game. But come and join with me, my friends, on a journey to another end. Let's take some classes and become smarter. And find out what our choices matter. Let's go Biology 4. With Mrs. Jacques. What would they teach you now that you already gotten this far in the game? <laughs> hello, hello. Hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. Y'all did great, really great in the midterm exam. Thanks for answering my little questions at the end, too. I'll be sure. Father, are you in there? Did anyone get the number of that bitch? 18. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That always gets me. Thank you for the 20 bits chaos. <laughs> uh, I don't think Jacques could be okay with that. Not that I care. <laughs> How are you doing, chaos? <laughs> uh, who got the number of that bitch? <laughs> This fucking his response to that thank you at the end. Thank you! <laughs> Always kills me. Thank you for shopping them out. Ah, you were playing Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. Were you having fun with them? Beating people up with Zack? Ah. So. Yikes. Some randos screwed you over on your raid, huh? Why are you also mad at Triss? <laughs> I do like that emote, though. I'll be sure to keep your responses in mind. Alright. We're here now, heading to the last half of our classes together. It's time for our knowledge to evolve and grow, just like our Pokemon. Evolution. Yep. <laughs> evolution. Today we're going to learn about the fascination and phenomenon of Pokemon evolution. As your Pokemon battle and level up, they learn moves and get stronger. But for some, re some Pokemon, once they've leveled up enough, their appearances change, and their stats increase, sometimes by a lot. That's Pokemon Evolution. Pokemon become very strong when they evolve, making them trusty partners in battle. There's a bravery in chat if anybody wants to grab it. But... <laughs> Chaos, you still streamed and... You, it, your, um... Stream thing has changed recently. It's not like every single time we shut it, yeah, it was Crisis Core. <laughs> but that's okay, Chaos. But some people prefer to keep their Pokemon in their double pre evolved states. You could, you both have Pokemon. <laughs> to do this, you just need to remember a certain po button when your Pokemon begins to evolve. Say it with me, if you already know. To cancel evolution, press the... No. We press the C button up in here. No. <laughs> That's right, everyone. B is the best answer. The button you want when you need to stop Pokemon from evolving is the B button. Why would you teach that at the end of the game? 
If you press this button soon after a Pokemon begins to evolve, you can stop it from changing. I would think that would be like lesson one. <laughs> you can also let the Pokemon hold an item known as an Epistone to keep it from evolving. And keep in mind that the requirements for evolution differ from Pokemon to Pokemon. Uh oh, Triss is getting feisty. <laughs> Some may evolve by having certain items, such as a Firestone, Thunderstone, and used on them. Others may have learned a specific move or defeat a specific Pokemon in battle to evolve. The way Primate evolves into a Nightlife is especially strange. No, what? Hold on, Faith. No, no. You see, there's a certain move that... I have an Nihilite! <laughs> Whoops, sigh. Looks like we're out of time. I guess we'll have to end the class here today. Thank you all for your attention. And you already taught us about the stones. <laughs> you played a good laugh. Tris. Thank you for the 20 biddies to l do a good laugh at Tris. <laughs> oh dear. When did I get this many potions? I have 70 ethers. I don't like these items right here. Anyway. What are you curious about? From the additional effects and moves? So if a move goes to bite you and it has a chance to flinch, it won't allow it to flinch. And if the move can also poison you, it wouldn't poison you. Covert Cloak just sounds really good. Hmm. Let's give it to you. I have 78 Ice Terrors, oh my god. So I could turn one Pokemon into an Ice Terra, and one Pokemon into a Dragon Terra. Hmm. Let's just scroll through this, skip through all this. Wait a minute. Newest first, please. That'll make this easier. Okay. And then just go ahead and auto heal. And go back to class. Good evening, Master Faden. What class would you like to take? Let's go ahead and finish off biology class with Mr. Shock. One seal is Shock. I have one badge left, and you're teaching me how to evolve Pokemon. With stones. Hello, hello. I hope everyone's ready to learn the, some new things today. But before we get going, do y'all remember the final question from a midterm exam? Well, Director Clavel found out about it somehow, and I got yelled at. Whoops. Apparently, you could tell I was hiding something just by looking at me. You must have noticed all the color flush right out of my face. <laughs> Speaking of color today, I'd like to teach you all about the colors as they pertain to Pokemon. Some Pokemon have slightly different coloration or pattern on their bodies based on their gender or individual differences. 
In very rare cases, the Pokemon may have widely different coloration compared to the others of the same species. I know, just like how the female one has the heart tail on Pikachu. <laughs> Jesus. FF7 boss battle music for 20 bits. Triss is awakening the boss in you. <laughs> oh my gosh. We call these specimens shiny Pokemon. She should be happy I couldn't find the old school Sephiroth music. <laughs> it is quite rare to cut. Oh, yeah. To cross paths with this one. Does anyone here know what the likelihood of finding a shiny Pokemon is? Uh, one in four thousand. Wow, that's right. You may have the mark makings of a Pokemon professor fate. Shiny, shiny Pokemon appear at a rate of one in four thousand. Isn't that amazing? The probability of encountering one in the wild is the same as hatching one from an egg, too. Eggs from a pair of Pokemon raised around different languages are a special case. There's a higher than average chance that a shiny Pokemon will hatch from these eggs. That's why we use shiny dittos. Or not shiny dittos, but dittos from a different language. But we haven't been able to figure out why that is just yet. <laughs> he played boss battle for 20 bits from Final Fantasy 7. Because <laughs> he wants to fight you now. <laughs> I've also heard rumors that a charm that increases your likelihood of finding shiny Pokemon when you have it in your bag. Can you believe that? Oh, the shiny charm. This claim can't be scientifically verified, but sure would be fun if it were true. Whoops, and there's the bell. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention. That was actually perfect. <laughs> One Winged Angel is the boss music. <laughs> oh, that's the movie version. That's fine. Thank you for another 20 bits to boss music Trist of. <laughs> I have s seven badges. And it's giving me classes. Hello, hello. I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. Next time we meet, we'll have a final exam. That means today is our last actual class. Now the topic for that, this class class, will be Pokemon Forms. You can just think of the forms as the shapes or appearances that Pokemon have. Oh no. <laughs> There's also a phenomenon called a form change, where Pokemon's appearance changes under certain conditions. Cyclozar, for example, which we regularly ride on as transportation here in Palia, has three forms. First, its basic form, where it walks on four legs. Second is its battle form, where it stands up on its hind legs to engage in battle. And finally, its ride form, where it inflates its throat sack and its tail so we can ride on its back. <clears throat> Though we can use something you're all carrying with you now, as Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for the 20 bits for a Sephiroth great greeting. <laughs> so we can use something you're carrying with you now as an even better example. Yeah, I was. <laughs> it got me right out of there. Like, what? <laughs> Teresa, you're down bad for Sephiroth now. <laughs> yep, I'm talking about your phone. Some smartphones are inhabited by certain Pokemon. Does anyone know the Pokemon I'm referring to? Yeah. Oh, top. You mean you've always been? 
Well, long white hair, uses a katana, tall. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Also, long trench coat. Normally walks around shirtless. <laughs> and he's evil. The Pokemon inside your smartphone, a smartphone, smartphone, <laughs> is Rotom. It does all sorts of things to help you out. <clears throat> the Rotom inside the Rotom phone is special, so it doesn't try to enter other electronics. An ordinary Rotom, however, can change form by entering washing machines, microwaves, and ovens. And other electronic appliances. Rotom is a bit of an exception, though. Many Pokemon that change form do so simply by holding an item or having one use of it. Horikorio, for example, has four different forms it can change between when given certain nectars. Pokemon may even change type or learn different moves when they change form. Form changes are different from evolution in that the Pokemon can't retain can retain its original form, and unlike any Pokemon, which can't change the special coloration, the same individual Pokemon can go back and forth between the, its forms. There's a lot to dig into with these form change phenomena, as you can see. We can all learn something from Pokemon, don't you think? Bit of a stretch, but. I'd be happy to see you all enjoy your time at the Academy to the fullest and change form into a new version of yourselves. Or something like that, anyway. Oh, I almost forgot. Regional forms, which are very uh, based on the region a Pokemon come from, don't change like other forms. They're an innate. Whoops. <laughs> well, there's the bell. I guess I was scatterbrained, Mr. Jacques, right up to the very end, huh? I had a great time teaching all of you. I hope you all do your best on your final exam. So it taught me form changes, the differences between the male and female, shiny Pokemon, and regional Pokemon changes for the last biology form. get for even doing all these classes. It'll cover everything you've been taught so far, but I'm sure you all do just fine. Take your time and contemplate each question carefully. How many of the following four methods makes it easier to catch a Pokemon? Um, two of them, actually. Uh, the Poketoy doesn't do nothing. Neither does feeding a berry. True or false? You can get a new Pokemon only by catching them yourself or trading with other people. Yeah, that's the only way you get a new Pokemon. If a Pokemon is holding Everstone, will using an item that induces evolution, such as Five Stone Evolve it? Not that I know of. That's one in 4,000. False has four. Do you have anything you'd like to say about my class? I'm still getting used to this teaching thing, but I'm sure you're fun as a teacher. Um, thank you for being our teacher. Oh, there's a Komala in chat. I'll grade these right away. Hope you're all looking forward to seeing how you did. I mean, if college exams were just four questions, <laughs> By God Almighty, there will be an avalanche of justice! <laughs> Where'd that come from? By God Almighty, there'll be an avalanche of justice! <laughs> uh, I don't think I've heard that before. Thank you for the extra 20 bits for that. It's definitely entertaining. And the inflection on the voice is fun, too. Ah, okay. You must get three questions correct to pass the midterm exams. Okay. Did I get a perfect? Nope. Almost. It must have been the Oricario uh, question. Or the, uh... What makes it easier to catch Pokemon? Probably berries, too. 
Oh, now I get mediums. <sighs> well, I tell the stream the gym leader I can do this off stream with the classes. I don't even know what the classes do for you in the long run. What happens if you graduate in this game? So now I need to go after the, lo the normal gym. My Ozaro is going to be so much more powerful there. <laughs> hey, bud. Why don't you... Why don't you quit harassing the girl? Hey, hey bud, why don't you shut the fuck up and mind your own goddamn business? <laughs> what the fuck? I was on Van Helsing Bridge, I think. for the extra 20 biddies for that. It was definitely entertaining to hear. Alright, no my bud. Let's go ahead and fight now. Oh no, Mona. Oh god. It's finally time for your last gym, right? I heard from Rika. But I'm 0% worried about you. I know you got this. Even La Premira seems to, to like you. Uh, she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe I'll go find her so we can cheer you on together when you battle the gym leader. So go have a battle in it that's fruitful for you and for the crowd. Wait, you're not going to fight me suddenly? Weird. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Medali Gym. Let me re register you. Great, now in order to face the gym, you need to do the test. Here at the Medali Gym, this means ordering a special secret menu item. Specifically, the menu item is at the Treasure Eatery, a much loved restaurant here in Med Medali. Order correctly and you pass. Right now, there are three other challengers around attempting this gym test. Each challenger has been given different clues that will help them discover the secret dish. You'll be given a clue as well. Please fight and battle the other challengers. The loser must tell the winner their clue. Your goal is to gather clues, use them to determine the secret dish, then order it from the waiter at the treasure eatery. Only the challenger who is able to order correctly will pass the test. Your clue is to find out how the regulars season their dishes. I suggest you start hearing by hearing what a regular at the treasure eatery has to say. Okay. That's gonna be interesting. Huh? What's going on? Oh, okay. Something to take a look at later. Oh, you're one of the challengers. I should have known from the shorts. <laughs> Do you have a clue about the secret dish? Guess I better beat you and learn it. Well, I know it needs to be regular seasoning. And a nursery ring, huh? Rage Fist. Oh, yeah. I'm not trying to evade you. I don't think you really have too many attacks there. Huh? K. 
can't believe this gym takes, uh, test makes us steal each other's clues. That's fighting dirty. Kind of. The clue is given to look for a dark spot surrounded by stairs. So right here. This is a dark spot surrounded by stairs. It's an amphitheater. It says fire blast. Okay, so I have to find a uh, regular and see how they season it and then fire blast. Artesian bakery, delicoso, sure cans. Where's the eatery? Can I talk to you? No. No, I did <laughs> So it needs to be fire blast. Fried eggs. I have no idea. That was incorrect anyway, I didn't expect that. I was trying to... Okay. I heard that said that some kind of amazing gimmick on the treasury eating. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. This is the gym leader. Lemon, it's it's fish, it's fish, and they fire blast it. They squeeze lemon and fire blast. They're the two clues I got, but the only dish that comes out good from that is fish. That fucking chipmunk in the background is freaking out. Fucking sassiest child. So lemon fireflies. And dream punch. Basically, it's supposed to be overcooked fish. Oh, uh, you could do chicken, too. The odd one out at one of the ice cream stands. That's ice cream. This is dessert, but it's not ice cream. This is juice. OK. 
Can I talk to you, kid? No. I can just talk to your Pokemon. Oh, you're also ice cream. Well, does that make you not ice cream? Right. The last one was like right next to this, so let's find out. I wouldn't normally consider crepes an ice cream type of thing. Granted, you could probably have it in there. Wouldn't doubt that. So I'm gonna have to say the clue is here. Well, this one's ice cream. This one's also ice cream. And the odd one out would be this one, because it's crepes. So the food is a crepe? Let's change if I talk to you from back here. Nope. Ah, oh, so no matter where you click on the fucking thing, it still makes you talk to the same person. Thanks for the random flex. The odd one out at the ice cream stands. I want to talk to the kid, not the Pokemon. Apparently, I'm not supposed to talk to people that put one next to them.
Okay, I'm officially confused. Was right next to them. It's the amputator. Hi. Is there no three people with ice cream besides those three stalls? Hmm. Sure. Let's fight you instead. Get the thing. Yes, you gotta tell me the clue, damn it. The blue bird Pokemon. So it's the Squawkabilly. Talkability? Talkability. Mead yum, mead yum. So, lemon fire blast medium. So it's a medium portion. Okay. Lemon fire blast medium. So does that mean that the ice cream stand falls just to actually have a clue that happens when I just sit there? Come try a bite. Refresh your treat for sure. Pokemon love it. I don't get this one. Alright, is there one more challenger? Well, that's three, there's supposed to be four. Wait a minute, what did he say that? Oh.
So I guess that's all of them? So this is just decoration. Might as well try it. So fish and chicken are normally good for this thing, since there's only fish on this. Let's go with the grilled fish. What size serving? It was supposed to be medium. And it'll be fire blast style. And then a lemon to garnish it. And now it's just process of elimination without even figuring out the last clues. Regular dish. Wonder if I got fish wrong. Wanna be rice balls? Those rice balls. What happened to all the people? There were people out there. Did you just kill the people? <laughs> Supposed to talk to the waiter. <laughs> the exceptional every man himself to gym leader Larry. What makes Larry everyone's favorite? Larry, you're up. So he was the gym leader. I'm Larry, I'm assigned to work at the gym leader of the Metelli Gym. Good job in making your way to the gym test. Well, maybe try other dishes on the menu too sometime. Everything's good here. Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. You're the gym leader! Let's get this battle over with. Thank you for doing business with us today. I, Larry, will be at your service. You are challenged by Jim Little Larry.
I just ate, so let's not go too hard. Let's work up. <laughs> the strongest move you should have would be to wood hammer. Be most effective against me. But let's do this. Because I know that you're going to put my character to sleep. And the fifth one. I could do one more safely, but I don't care. Effective critical hit powered up to five. Jesus. No, I'm not gonna switch. I just powered up this Pokemon. That's a big dunce bonus. Still better than getting cornered by my boss. Scree! Okay, my attack went down. Oh, this is his last Pokemon? Pretty good, am I I'm losing this? Come on, Larry. Step it up a notch. We got hungry customers waiting. Give them something to cheer for you. You hear? Is that your boss? Just what you got, Larry. And you too, kid. Well, you heard the good folks. I suppose I can put on a bit more of a show. <laughs> Honestly, you believe that's one of the cases. Yeah, this terrorizes you with the Pokemon. <laughs> ah. Critical, super effective hit. <laughs> Let's terrorize work up. On a side note, I love how he just casually fixes his tie as his star as his star I know. He does it too when he grabs his Pokeballs for the Pokemon. Let's maximize this.
He certainly threw me for a loop. He turned on the Brock. Hey! My Floragato is evolving. Now I'm gonna have the Cat Burglar. Um, let's see. These are attacks by pelts and target with sleeves, or bouquet of flowers the target never misses and always crits. Yeah, let's go ahead and change that. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring out my poker face, even. I lost, so that means I have to give you a badge, but. That battle made me a bit hungry. Care to join me for a meal? Oh, that's actually kind of cute. I like that one. If you have eight gym badges, you'll be able to catch Pokemon at any level. You'll never question who's the boss either. <laughs> this is for you, though. Hopefully, a child like you has no need to put it on uh, on his namesake. A facade. Oh, he gives facade because he ha has a facade. <laughs> the, sh the dish is here. They've all got flavor. Good flavor, I mean. Oh, don't worry about the bill. I do earn a salary after all. Now, I better get back to work if you'll excuse me. Come back later. I know I'm supposed to go here to change the terror types. Why did you name my Pokemon? You did it! Oh, I'm so happy for you. This is the best. I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Most impressive, Faden. A shining display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym. Which means... Indeed. Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take the Pokemon League. You hope to stand alongside the Mona as a fellow champion. Head to the Pokemon League. That is where you can take the champion assessment. Yeah, hurry up and get to my rink. I'm itching for a battle of equals. I gotta take my time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine tune my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. Well, good luck, Faden. And wish me luck, too. It's unusual for me to see her so excited. Though perhaps not for you. She must be really happy that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talent. There's a special kind of strength that can only be reached by competing with a good rival. Count me among those eager to see how far you two can go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League northwest of Mezzacosa. There's a little more to it. Couldn't I just go there now? This is was my eighth gym. Yay, Vermeer Ball. Not regular mode. Mustard Rice Ball? Actually sounds good. Homemade um, uh, Umeboshi. Ooh. Bitter Melon Stir Fry. Free Dadzu Kupu Bean Soup. Ooh. I'd like to try that. Soba Noodles. Mmm. Oh, it has egg power. That's kind of neat. Anything new here? 
Yep, that's the terror type thing. To the S being horrible music. <laughs> I don't want to change a Pokemon to normal type. No thanks. So what am I supposed to get here? You said come back here later. The only thing I can think of is this needs is terror battles. The change for the terror shards for the terror typing. Hmm. Oh, it's the free 50 shards, okay. For the normal typing. Jigglypuff puff. Hey, Voltor. Get the ball. Get the ball. Oh, that's an electrode. Let's just, I love how they added a eye twitch tool. Look at him, he's so amped up, he's twitching his eyebrows. light screen twice. Computer's not normally that dull. True, because I am a ghost type and explosion's a normal type move. So it would literally be ineffectual to me. Does that mean it only do explode in light screen? Hold on here. 
Yeah, it would just kill itself normally. It's kind of the fate of any Pokemon that uses Explode or Eruption or whatever. I really do wish they would allow you to sort Pokemon by name or newest or whatnot, like they do in the Pokedex. There you are. So he had Swift, Electro Ball, Light Screen, Self Destruct. And he was a special attack specialist. Or. Yeah, he was. Why didn't you use Electro Ball? That would have hurt. Hmm. Maybe I just got lucky. I can put Masquerade back. I'm confused. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um. Let's go ahead and evolve the Hopip. Just get out of the way. Everything here needs to be evolved except for the two in the front. Kinda interested about that too. Cause that's all of the um gym leaders and all the titans done. All that's left now is the Star Raids, Star Falls, and the the Pokemon League. There's a sentry in chat if anybody wants to collect that. Where am I supposed to go now? It said where to go. Wow. I didn't know that lady actually did that. I think they're talking about this one too. Interesting. Here oh. also in Starfall. Prepping for Charizard and Cinderace made me a little too powerful. Well, I'm just gonna buy now. Not that I'll be able to, considering that I have, like, no actual chunks of money. 
Well, I could buy max potions now and full restores. And, uh, uh, well, I've always been able to buy ultra balls. Let's see. Ooh, I can buy quick balls and timer balls. I got enough quick balls right now. Let's get a couple of timer balls. Oh, shame for you. You activated my Alucard. What the fuck? Thank you for the 20 bits to tell me you act I activated your Alucard. <laughs> it's because the uh, is here. <laughs> Hello, Jackal Wolf. Fight and punch everything. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? Hello, Faden. So this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Faden. I look forward to meeting you so again soon. I will fight and punch everything. In fact, I have an annihilate to fight and punch. <laughs> How are you doing, Jack Wolf? Are you ready to face Pokemon League's champion assessment? Yes. Uh, the Ranger Academy is. It appears you have a total of eight bad ba gym badges. Yeah. Thank you for coming today. Please do have a seat. You hate this test? You almost done with the map of the Assassin's Creed in Valhalla? Ooh, that's a good one too. 90% complete. That's good. Glad that you're doing okay. I, Rika, will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of this champion assessment. We begin with the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Oh no. Excellent, you have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind, Faden. Please think carefully as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. Let's begin. How did you get here today? I came by flying taxi. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the schools that you enrolled in. Aranja Academy. It is a trap. <laughs> ah, that's right. So, what brings you to Pokemon League today? I came to become a champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you intend to do if you and when you become a champion? Um, I want to become even stronger. Honestly, that, that, that's what would be the case. But it'd be the finer treasure. I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? None of them. <laughs> um, I don't even remember which one is which. Cascarafa was the water gym. This is the dr trap. I see. And what's the name of the gym leader you faced there? I think it was Brasius. The first badge of stars. Actually, not that bad. Um. No, it was Co. Oh my god, it, it goes further. Was it Kofu or Brasius? I'm glad you seem to remember. It was Kofu. Cool. <clears throat> but do you remember which type of Pokemon Kofu used? Water type. Wonderful. 
It goes up to the eight gyms. Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Fade. What was the category of Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Water. It's a duckling. Very good, very good. Now please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat my previous question. Remind me, what do you intend to do when you become champion? Find treasure. Ah oh, yes, that's right. Next is the final question for this interview. Do you like Pokemon, Fate? <laughs> of course I do. Never played Pokemon Red? I did, actually. The first version I actually had was uh, Blue, actually, though. Good job, kiddo. That about wraps up the interview. And let me be the first to congratulate you, Fate. You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. I first try too, no less. Don't think anyone's done that since the Mona. But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. I did too, actually. Mine wasn't color, though. <laughs> How did I cheat, Jackal? The second segment is what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon battles. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we're the best that Lee has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row, no turning back. This won't be a cakewalk. I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready and then go into the room behind me. Nope, not at all. <laughs> Mainly because um, I didn't like the water gym leader, and it was a pain in the ass to go chase him down. And I was even uh, concerned on which name was correct, which is Brasius or Kofu. I thought it was Kofu, so I went ahead and did it with that one. Other than that, everything else was just the same. That, and it had the most interesting test on it because you actually had the fucking beat bitters for it and that was annoying. And you had to give the guy's wallet back. It was basically you were doing a chore. <laughs> Alright dude. Now you've taken off your glasses and stopped being all formal. Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast! Normally when you say think fast, you attack immediately. Why did it take you so long? Far ground type of lightning moves. I finally get to battle you. I've been looking forward to this, so don't give up too soon. Fuck. He was waiting for that big enemy introduction. <laughs> Camera up, huh? Yes. I'll actually switch. Go, Boma, the Gormon. Fire ground type. Let's go ahead and kick him. Ooh. <laughs> 
I got flamethrower now. 9800? 6800. Um, Pokemon Fire. If a Pokemon is holding certain items such as a berry, that item becomes burnt and useful. Mm, I'd rather have flamethrower. Oop. <laughs> Dawn Fan. That's a water type. That's all. No, it's not. Dawn Fan's something different. Yep. I'm still good. Kinda of hurt here. Here's lunch. Mega drain. I'm sure. Oh my gosh. Doug Trio. Okay, I'll keep it in. I'll just use Aqua Step again. Claude Sire does ground poison. I'm gonna just do it again. <laughs> Impressive. You really are uh, something else, kiddo. Bring it on. I actually use this Pokemon. Let's finish this. Go on, Claude Sire. Shake things up a bit. Are you turning into ice? No, Earth. Oh, you're fucked. <laughs> Protect like savior. It's fine, I can just do it again. <laughs> oh no. Mine doesn't have water absorb. You're right, joke was on me. <laughs> I'm just gonna low sweep it. Watch your step, cause things are about to get a bit shaky. Earthquake? Do it. Base of my Yoshi Island. <laughs> it's stalling so that the poison kills me. Hmm. Would it even be worth it right now? Sure, full restore. It is. I'm not saying it's a bad strategy, it's actually really good since Cloud is a tank. And then with its poison moves. And I'll be fresh for the next fight. <laughs> I love the look. Not bad, kiddo. Just remember the stretch, take care of yourself, and remember the blue light filter exists. Drink and eat something today, won't you? 
Skiploom is evolving. I love the shamefully clip. Turn to a jump bluff. Talk about unfair. No way I was ever going to win that one. Still, though, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past the elite test, but who knows? I'm beginning to think you might be the one that of the few that do, Faden. Best stay on your toes, though. The second of the Elite Four is stronger than me. You're up next, Squirt. Come out. Coming. Oh, the little kid. Oh, wow. Did you lose, Rika? Yeah, I did. He's no pushover. Let me tell you. I'll be watching from the side. Avenge me if you can, eh? You bet I will. Uh, fair. Are you ready to face Poppy of the Elite Four? Yeah. Why does the hair clip on the top of her head make it look like she's a bun? It's so cool you made it this far, but this is where you say bye bye, mister. This is the moment where you get recharged pretty much. Okay. You lost some new Pokemon. All my Pokemon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll bounce right off, you'll see. Can't wait for you to meet my friends, so here they come. Why are you adorable? Go on, Raja. Smush him up. Smush him. All right. Come here. <laughs> Core of night. Let's go. I like Core of night. Mm. Rage fist. Defense rose sharply. Too bad I'm gonna punch you. Critical hit! <laughs> Your defense meant nothing. Yay! My pig learned work up. Um, actually, let's get, get rid of cover. Bronze on. Eh. Bring him out. You know they say I didn't hear no bell? Well, I'm about to make it where you hear it. Bong! Magna zone. I'll keep it out. Bridge fist. Good thing mine are physical. Done. I'm not scared. My last Pokemon will turn things around. Hello, Tingaton. Protect. 
It's time to get dressed up all pretty pinky. Tinky. Gotta turn to fairy type or steel type? Steel type. Finish him! <laughs> that was weird timing. Pretty good though. Surprised it didn't use its big move. Well, you're fucked now. <laughs> that was good timing. <laughs> Test your might as the fucking Terra shatters. <laughs> Thanks for the money, kid. Hey, it's a fire crocodile. <laughs> I do like the sound it makes. Yay. Torch song. A good move, actually. Holy shit. That's really powerful. Why is it so powerful? I want to take revenge on you, Rika. Pretty sure you mean take revenge for me, Squirt. I don't think I didn't, it did anything wrong by you. I'd say it, but you lost Poppy. Better call the next guy. Oh, that's right. I haven't had to do this in a long time. It's your turn, Mr. Larry. The normal gym leader? He's an Elite Four member? Well, this is awkward. I just beat him. Hello there, it's me, Larry. I, I, you just gave me a badge, not more than 20 minutes ago. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and do Ether on Rage Fist. Is there any move here I need to do it on? Let's go with August. Honestly, I don't need anything else. Okay, I'm fine. Come on, Larry. So you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite Four too. Yes, unfortunately for me. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But, well, the boss told me to use a different type here. So if you have any complaints, please take them up with La Primera. <sighs> anyway, time to work. Tropius. Flying grass type, huh? Well, I'll be trying my hand with flying type Pokemon this time. Oh, I'm actually in a disadvantage here. Bring 
doing it. <laughs> Master? Hold on, I need to tweet about this. <laughs> Master? Hold on, I need to tweet about this. <laughs> that was great. Fuck yeah, I'll replace move for Shadow Ball. Check, I'll set you up for it. Altaria. The dragon Pokemon? The flying dragon type. Why am I so fast? I reduced my speed so I get more strength. You didn't mean to set him up. <laughs> ah, you're good. I liked it a lot. Or a Corio. What type are you? I want to say that's lightning type. Yeah. <laughs> the sunlight faded. <laughs> I punched everything <laughs> till the sun went down. You're even stronger than before, so I guess I'll have to use this. I punched the daylight out. At the risk of messing up my suit, it's a bit... It's time to get some wind in here. I've forgotten level 100. What do you mean? I knew I was at a disadvantage, but I know that I'm like super powerful. Rage Fist. I advise you to stay on your toes because I'm about to scatter you to the wind. Ow. Probably killed itself. <laughs> it did! Let's go! What does Cotton Spore do again? Lowers the speed. Nah. Uproar. N nah. I can see that being useful though. <laughs> well, that took the one from underneath our wings. Thank you, Larry. You're a lot stronger than I recall. No wonder Lepremere likes you. I'm literally just as strong. Now then, I suppose the final member of our Elite Four is next. It's your turn, Hassel. Now, where could he be? Uh, don't think he heard you, Larry. Come on in, Hassel. Larry, you, you may need to speak up just a little bit more. Hassel? Hassel! You're up next! Oh, him. Hello there, Fate. It's del it delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again. Hmm? Okay. Let's put the Foy Coco back. Um, what's something I can level up real quick here? Fence bars. And then, let's go ahead and favorite the ethers.
Now nah, I'm ready for your hassle. Are you ready to face hassle? Yes. I was, of course, absolutely certain you would make it to me eventually. Young sprouts truly do grow to astounding speed, yes. But I never knew for a moment to imagine we would be facing each other so soon. Now, my teacher's duty is to guide the students and aid their growth. But I think I shall forget about my role as a teacher for a moment. And wield my might for the sole purpose of defeating you. Also, the answer faded even with your lowering your speed. It was our speed would be higher than most of the Elite Force base speed. As to being level 100. Eh, not wrong. I'm Hassel, the Dragon Guardian, the final fortress of the Elite Test. Prepare to learn firsthand how the fire breath of ferocious battle feels. They're always a dragon trainer. I might lose this. Might. Very small chance. Show me everything you've got. I shall face you with my full strength. Flapple. It's apple juice. Bulk up, please. Please see that. Drain punch. Give me my health back. <laughs> More like a discarded apple with a worm in it. Yep. Ancient power? Yes. Let's change flail. I don't even know what that is. For Galga. You look like something fucked you up. Are you a shrimp dragon? my health back. You didn't fully heal me, you bitch. Yeah, be angry. Oh, this is a Pokemon that's really impossible in the raids. Haxorus. my HP back. Keep punching till the lights go out. You're still lost. <laughs> It's okay, I'm doing exactly what you said. Fight and punch. Everything. I'll keep punching till your lights go out. Till the sun drops down past the mountains. Come on, you steel dragon. Look at that fucking cock 
Okay, I smile. No point in letting this drag on. Behold the power of overwhelming everything! Damn. You booped my snoot! Oh, you're gonna take. You're gonna get it now. Get my health back. Don't you boot me! That's what I say about your terrorized Pokemon. The mighty dragon has been failed. Yeah. You really did it. Oh, wow! Huh. What? Wonderful! I'm, I'm so proud of you! Oh, he's crying. Oh, don't cry, Grandpa Hassel. There, there, want a hug? Sorry about all this, Faden. The old man can get like this sometimes. So what do I do? I just, just so overwhelmed. Guess I gotta do the talking. Anyway, <laughs> your result for the elite test of the champion assessment is a pass. No doubt about it. I don't even have to switch Pokemon. Yeah, you're tougher than steel. Yep. Y you did beautifully. Congratulations. I say you're good to go, but there's actually just a wee bit more of the champion assessment. This is your final trial. To the door back there. A fearless commander, the final opponents you'll face for your test is waiting beyond it. Oh, you're talking about the dragon trainer? He's broken? Her skills are so amazing, she was able to strong-arm all of us into joining the Elite Four. You won't find a mightier champion. No, I think you'll do fine, kiddo. No, you beat me after all. Patch up your team on the house, so don't lose, you hear? Oh, thanks. I really love your Pokemon, mister. So I'll cheer for you as hard as I can. Well, uh, good luck. Even a baby dragon can breathe fire. Uh, whoa. Guess you got over your sobs, huh? You could do this. We all know you can. Now go, young Faden. Your hands may be small, but let them seize great victory. Thanks for moving slightly over. This is actually a thing. Gonna try with just my main two. Welcome, Phaeton. It gives me great joy that you managed to make it all the way up to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. The final test is a battle against me, the top champion. In the past, all you need to do is win. 
But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for the League Chairman. I'm utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battles. Maybe that's why nobody's passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you, you might manage something wonderful, like the champion Nimona did. So, are you ready for the final test? I want to see the true measure of your talent. Snazzy. Oh god, Lady Gaga. I do hope you can defeat me and become a champion yourself. Let's bulk. I might terrorize in this fight. I know. You mean like that? <laughs> What's the matter? You're not the one to let something so insignificant. Oh. Okay, I need to kill you now. Yes, that was the correct decision in this situation. Please continue. Yeah. Take me out with Go-Go. That's three now. Um... Is that the glitch? Well... <laughs> King Gambit. Strength from the Fallen. I like King Gambit. He is so cool. I want him now. Five. Psychic, huh? Six. Does so anyone else hear that? Yeah, and it's getting closer. And it sounds an awful lot like oh. mine. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and show you proper respect. Thank you for 20 biddies for the play mine.
maximum powered up, terrorized, annihilate. Rage Fist. The only thing that would make this better is if I had dark paralyzation. No, ghost paralyzation. I think you've won. I don't know who you are. Be the light that guides all trainers, Glamora. I think Lamoro is supposed to be a setup Pokemon. You go beyond my imagination so easily. Such overwhelming power. Such amazing skill. It seems that Paldea has gained another wonderful trainer to be proud of. Congratulations. Yes, 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 yes. 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 <laughs> God damn it. Congratulations. It is my honor to call you Champion Faden. Congratulations is right. Now I can really say you're good to go. Yay, you did it, mister! Congratulations. Just amazing! I can't... I can't hold it in anymore! <laughs> Crying again, huh? Your Pokémon trainers are the treasure of Paldea. And amid that treasure, champions are the jewels that shine the brightest. Champion Fate... It is now your duty to set an example for all the trainers of Paldea. Now... Allow me to walk you back to the entrance. I'm certain you'll find a familiar face awaiting you. There's that one character who's so more now he just doesn't have to try to sound like a normal person anymore. Yeah, you're right. Faden! Faden! Oh man! I can, I can tell you just looking at you, you did it right! You became a champion! Yeah. <laughs> I knew all along. I got word from La Primera when you cleared the elite test. Oh man, Faden. I'm a champion, and now you're a champion. Which means we're true equals, you and me. Both champion ranked trainers. This is amazing. Now that you've made it here, I've got one thing to say. Let's me and you be the best of rivals for life. Sure. Yes! Toma, yeah! Alright. You know what rivals do, huh? Bow their absolute heart out. I'm gonna hit you with everything this time. You ready? Do wait a moment, Champion Namor. Hmm? What's the matter, Premier? The Champion Assessment has only just ended. I believe a rest is in order for Champion Fate. Annihilate and the others. Champions must be understanding towards their opponent. <clears throat> right. There I go, getting overexcited again. <laughs> Sorry. Faden and Annihilate. I also must ask, is this roadside really a setting you two want for your first battle as true equals? You two want your first battle as, uh, in rivals? 
Hmm, now that you mention it, that's a good point. In that case, can we use one of the Pokemon League Battle Courts? Surely there's someone more fitting. A place with special meaning for the two of you, perhaps. Special meaning, huh? Hmm, let me see. Any relief to mind fate? Behind her house, Mezagoza, or the treasury eatery? So I can go to the Yandere's house, go to the school, or go to a restaurant for the final battle. Tris, you still in chat? Chat? What do you think? Option one, two, or three? And while you guys think on that, I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. Because I need to pee really badly. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm supposed to fight the Yandere rival. And she's asking me which place to fight. Her house, the school, or a restaurant. So, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Choose one, two, or three to uh, figure out... So you have chosen death.
Alright, I'm back. Sorry it took me a second, but I also grabbed something to eat and drink. So it looks like, from what I've seen, that you chose the house. That makes sense, considering that if you want to fight again today, you might as well do it at the house. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> our beach out back, huh? Yeah, the place where we had our first battle might work. But on the other hand, to me, it's just kind of my backyard, you know? A little ordinary. Any place else come to mind? <laughs> really? What about the diner? Or the school? Diner. The treasure, Adri? Is as significant to the two of you somehow? Ah, are you thinking of it's cause it's got the Medali Jim's battle court? I guess it does bring back memories of Larry. Larry may not appreciate the surprise visit. If you have any other suitable places in mind, would you try to oratize them instead, please? So I literally chose the two wrong answers. Thanks, game. Masagoza! Oh, good call. The place where we set on our journey. That reminds me, Fate. Remember back when the director Clavel explained the treasure hunt? You know how he told us to go in search of our own treasure? Well, I know what treasure I got out of all this. I found a true rival. Someone who can stand up to me at my full capabilities. That's right. I mean you. I'm so glad I got to meet you, Faden. Anyway, that being said, I'll be waiting for you at the battle court in Ma uh, Masagosa, Central Plaza. See you there! Yeah, I know chaos, but that's stupid. Like, that's that's just stupid. <laughs> The illusion of choice is still no choice. <laughs> the respect you two share is palpable, even a bit enviable, to be honest. I am known as La Primera, but even when facing me in the final test of her, the, her champion assessment, Champion Nomona didn't reveal her full might. In you, I suspect she has found someone she can battle without holding anything back. been stupid ever since older Pokemon games. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm hearing a Pokemon. Garchomp doesn't make that noise. Oh, thanks for the one coin. Why can't you fight here? It's really nice here.
Yeah, I've never just walked here before. That's interesting. There you are. You ready for a battle between champions? Because all these folks here seem to be ready to watch what got around, I guess. And out of every single person I gathered here, I'm the most excited by a mile. <laughs> I like how Larry's just in the background, like, eh. It's my all-out power versus your strength in f full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. That facial expression always gives me shivers just seeing that from her makes me think Stranger Danger. <laughs> You're challenged by Champion Nomona. Finally, the thing I've waited all this time for. Time to begin our greatest battle of all! Oh, she has a full team. I remember you have something I don't like. That's fine. So that's fine too. <coughs> Three. Well, with the stealth rock, I'm fine. Four. Miles Aru's physical defense is killed the higher every single time I do that, so even if he's doomed to a run, it's not gonna do much. Five. And six. And let's just go ahead and do a... 60 healing. Senzu Bean! You ready for it? Let's go Super Saiyan! <laughs> I think I helped teach you my type matchups.
That's a huge ass dun sparse. Oathworm. Orthworm? That's fine. It's all down to this, my last Pokemon. We're gonna fight with everything we've got. Come on, skill urge. Here, I'll give you one turn. Shine blazingly bright, my greatest treasure. Nice for the Undertaker Bell. Get ready to see how strong Skull Dirge has grown since the day we met. Torch Song. Time to die. Thank you for the 40 bits for the Undertaker Bell. Thank you for the extra 20 bits. The three bells of the Undertaker. The bell tolls for thee. That's legit incredible, you're the strongest out there, Faden. I mean, you knocked me flat and was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... I... <laughs> oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever even knew. Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me for real this time. Scyther and Jack. Now let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break feed. Before round two. Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions? Decisions. Annihilate, you seismic toss and no moment, please. <laughs> Yeet her out of the planet. <laughs> Alright. I have not been back here since they gave this room to me. <laughs> Is there any reason for this room? <laughs> Loki, the chick in the space. <laughs> he doesn't have a low kick. He has Dream Punch and Rage Fist. Balma has low kick. Of course, all these things have stuff going on. Can I just leave?
I guess it could. I know it wants me to do all that. I can buy a floor stores. Extra cash I don't need. So now all that's left is literally these guys. I wanted to do something here in the Great Crater. What do I still need to do for the Great Crater? Yeah. Yeah, the Starfall stuff. Do I need to do the Starfall stuff before I can even do the uh, the crater and s six to seven star raids? Uh, okay. Well, looks like that's where we're going next. That was shiny. Back up, kid. You can't just casually waltz in here like you're one of the stars that run the joint. If you want in, ring the bell over by the entrance. The storm base. Uh, like a decent person. Wow. 
Let me ring that bell. Whoa, 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 hold it, you. I've enhanced the base operation for Team Stardark's crew. You may know us as a uh, sinking squad. Yep, and we don't uh, take too kind of the random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, I'll have to send you packing. Wait up, hold on. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that kid? And that piece of work out there getting the Claren War on Team Star? Yep. He says, cool as a cucumber. Honestly, not always the best policy, you know. And you know what? Doesn't matter who you are. You got, uh, not getting through. Those offer get thrashed by me and a little, a battle kid. I'll take you on. What the fuck is that You gonna fight me or what? Okay. Just let me fight them, I already know the story on that. Come on. It's the same story for every single place. Alright. Actually, no. Let's do that, let's do that. And then... Change you... No, 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 no. Change health. Change position. A town flame. Because I think it'd be funny to watch the bird fly around and beat people up. Because they don't really have an animation. Easy. Fair enough.
He's way beyond our level. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, shit. Entire team of level 100s. To them being terrorized. Oh, shit. Fuck you, Chaos. <laughs> You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. Fading, was it? I'm Gelsimo the Dark. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice, call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all. But how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started! <laughs> God damn it, yes. Is that that samurai Pokemon, the one that we saw earlier? Is that its version? You really think you'd get through to the end to claim a on team style like that? Punch. How do I get that Shogun looking guy? Time up the tempo. Show that this ain't over yet. You're sending the car in already? Wait a minute. Was this the easiest starbase? Guess that's that. About a year and a half ago. Guess that's that. What's up, Gyasmo? Did something happen? That big boss just wanted to take on some stuff that we had to chat and settle on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of contact for the team. You know, how tons of new members have joined up recently. Well, we figured we gotta make some team rules like a code so we'd be on the same page. Nice, so you come up with a great code for us, won't you, Gelsma? Ha, no thanks, way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be the president of the student council, but <laughs> you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course you know. The first a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, they wouldn't take it. Got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. I can't help but concur. Male students' hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your ru rules were vexing, uh, vexation made manifest. My point exactly. So you'll have all have to agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Gelsmo. You look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star, it just wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council prez isn't who you are anymore, man. The code is written by Gelsimo. I'm looking at it now. I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as boss are over. So here, take my star badge, will you? I give this choice TM to you too. You earned it, fair and square. Foul play. The higher the target's attack stat, the greater damage this move inflicts. What the fuck? Now let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the academy like 
what moves you should use and stuff. Sure did. Huh? Okay. You like it at the academy? Having fun? Eh, it's not the best. No kidding. Turn around, buddy. You kill some Wow, I didn't expect a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You got a quax well to style up for you? I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's gonna be something annoying, but I guess my newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. It seems all of you and Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why don't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As that happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though. We don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? Close for years, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? The other one who invited us, other bosses, to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. Where's this Big Boss here now? Well, we like to know. We haven't heard from him in... I don't know. Must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teacher's been keeping pressing us to call it quits, and then we get party crashes like you two. Maybe the big boss didn't dig us. They were talking about breaking up the team before we went all. So, Team Star and this big boss of yours? They're really that important to you. <laughs> it's the sky blue. I put in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. So they found the treasure. So in a way, they're graduates, so just in a different way. Interesting. Cassiopeia, I'm assuming, is actually the big boss. <clears throat> to defeat the mastermind that first recruit the five squad bosses and create Team Star, one well, they call it Big Boss. He knows they control the five squad bots from the shadows, that's all I can say. No, they don't. They're waiting for him. I don't even know where he's at. I'm talking to you. <laughs> so that mastermind you were talking about, Casapia, has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who caused all kinds of misery in the academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what treasure most of the world. Use your treasure. <clears throat> uh, no, I just... Um, that's right, you need your reward. Here, take the, this before I forget. Alright, we'll be off then. Want to fade? Don't lose to those guys. Bye, Colgate.
There we go. So nothing new here. I did say they have more TMs. <laughs> Maybe I had all the TMs available. It's the Samurai Pokemon. Ah, the small version of you. How do I get the big version of you? <coughs> I'm curious now. <laughs> Why is it freaking out? Yeah. <coughs> Honestly, this is actually a lot of fun. <coughs> this is really pretty. I do kind of want to check this area out a little bit. I like how it's a terrorless slacking. Or slack off. Slacking, I think. Fury Falls. Got me. Thank you. 
Alright guys, well, <clears throat> this has been a lot of fun tonight. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the star bases. Uh, a different one. A different night. Or another time. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. But for now, thank you for being here with me. Finish out the Elite Four, getting the badges all done. Look at my level of Lizard. And I'm gonna go ahead and find somebody to raid. Anybody have any suggestions, go ahead and put it in the chat. I'm gonna start looking around. Remember to go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, whatever, hit the like, and then comment on anything here. Because as you know, I also put this up on YouTube. And thank you very much. And I hope you guys have a great night. Keep your eyes to the skies. And I'll see you soon, my stargazers. Let's go ahead and find somebody to raid. Hmm. Out of the normal guys. It's not a huge list, so let's go ahead and see if there's anybody still playing Pokemon. Somebody's doing a score bunny hunt. Want to check them out? Uh, maybe not. Why do they say they're online if they don't? Maybe they just ended. You know what, let's go ahead and send you off to a friend of uh, mine. They're currently playing some Fire Emblem. Looks like they have a little camera for one of the uh, their pets. They do a lot of uh, different tr um, trial runs. And they're doing a first time on Lun uh, Lunatic. So let's go ahead and send you off to this person here. Keep your eyes on the skies, and I'll see you soon, my stargazers. Now let's go ahead and send you off to this star. First message is for people who are subscribed to me, and the second message is for people who are not. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.